You know, as we travel all around the world, there's one question that we love to ask members. What do you remember from primary? What do you think the most common answer is? You're right, primary, primary songs. So what does a music leader do to help children love to sing and to get the melody, the words, and the message deep into their hearts so it has that lasting value? Let's watch what this one music leader did. Today, you have an opportunity to let your light shine because when you sing songs about the gospel of Jesus Christ, you shine so brightly. I am a child of God. Being a music leader has been the best calling I've ever had in the church. It has been nothing but joy for me. It became a passion for me. It just filled my whole soul because there's a spiritual aspect to it that's wonderful. There's the fun with children. There's the creativity. It just is a complete package of calling. If you were a new music leader just called to be the chorister in primary, the first place you need to go is to your knees. The best part of primary is the children. And so the more you can become connected to them, the better. You need to know their name. Claire. Yes, who else? Engaging the children is a really important thing to do in primary when you're teaching them to sing. And I think the best way to do that is perhaps to think about the one. If you think about an 11-year-old boy who maybe doesn't want to sing, but maybe he would love to beat the rhythm with rhythm sticks. The ideal for activities when you're a primary music leader would be that every child is involved in it. When you're teaching junior primary, I think it's really important, if you can, to be on their level. Try to be as much as you can eye to eye with them so that um, they feel your presence and the connection between you and them. It's also really important, I think for every age, but especially those junior primary, that they move. They learn with their whole bodies. And so the more that you can get their whole body involved in the song, marching, clapping, then that song will become a part of them more and they'll learn it better. It is hard to not talk too much when you're teaching a song, but you need to remember, I think, as a primary music leader, that your calling is a music leader and so you're talking can become at a minimum. He has sent me here. That's birth. And it takes us all the way over to here. I'll live with him once more. That's death. And all of this in between is our life. It's always kind of fun to maybe surprise them. Wait, 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 wait. I made a mistake. Or you could have something hidden in a bag behind the piano and then say, wait one minute and then go behind the piano and get, and they are just so waiting to see what's in that sack like a surprise. So there are ways to catch their attention that are just fun. If we can take it to a higher level that also teaches the gospel through that, then we're really teaching the spirit of the song. With senior primary, you can do things to involve them. Brooklyn. By love, serve one another. Help me to understand his words. Caitlin. Be of good cheer. I think we all use visual aids. I mean, I have a closet full of visual aids, but I think your very best visual aid 
is yourself. Moving, demonstrating, and when capturing busy, them yourself. How about if this song got a little busy? With every primary song you sing, you, you can bear testimony of that song. You don't have to wait till the end of the song. He loves you. He has from the very beginning. Every song in the children's hymn book has a scripture at the bottom of that song that goes along with it. But using the scriptures brings a depth of teaching to the song that can allow the spirit to touch the hearts of the children. And that song can take on greater meaning. If I see a child that isn't engaged or isn't really singing, there's often a time that I'll just go right over to him, get right up at his face, and start singing the song and say, sing with me, and uh, just ask for participation. Of course, once the children know the song, you have to keep singing that song so that they will remember it. You couldn't talk. You couldn't even feed yourself. They are the things that remain with us as we grow. So you want to repeat those songs enough that they will live with the children throughout their lives. And so you need to change it up a little bit when you're singing the song. We're not going to clap. We're not going to reach toward him. We're going to think about our father. I have loved the songs. I don't think there's anything better than to have the words of these songs going through your mind every week as you're preparing to teach the children. But the best part is the children. And to look into their eyes and to see perhaps here and there where a child you feel has really felt the spirit and knows that what they're singing is true. There can't be a better blessing than that. Now, I know you're going to be surprised, <laughs> but we invited Sister Janet Cecchio to come tonight and teach us a song. But before you do, I want to ask you a question. On that video, you seemed like such an expert. Oh, dear. You looked like the real, the real expert. And, you know, for people like me, I want to know. Did you just have a ton of musical training and just all of this experience singing? Oh, nothing. I didn't even make eighth grade choir. I wasn't, <laughs> they didn't let me join. No. <laughs> I have no talent and ability that way. I just bring enthusiasm and love and have faith that God will make up the rest. <laughs> that you do. <clears throat> okay, now. Sister Cecchio is not going, or she's not going to teach us this song because we know you need to learn another primary song. But she is going to model tonight some principles of teaching children that every one of us can use, no matter what calling we have in primary. What song are you going to teach us? It's from the children's friend, Build an Ark. Okay. Now, remember, she has to do this in a condensed <laughs> version. In an actual primary, you would have much more time to, to teach this song. And um, we're going to go fast, aren't we? Okay. And we're going to learn this we're song. Gonna learn it. No, you don't have to go fast. <laughs> you take your time, but, but we are so grateful that you're oh, here. And you. teach away. Thank you. Animals. Forty days of rain, a rainbow. You know who we're talking about, Noah. His story is so exciting, and we're going to sing it today. And you're going to want to know what happens next. So you can all ask me, all together. I'll go, what happens next? And you do it too. Let's practice. What? what? happens next. Oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> so the scriptures tell us 
Noah found grace in the eyes of God, for Noah was a just man and perfect in his generation, and he walked with God. Noah was a prophet. Noah was a prophet, a man who did not fear. Join me. Noah was a prophet, a man who did not cheer. What happens next? When he taught repentance, the people would not hear. When he taught repentance, the people would not hear. What happens? within his heart what each one of us should say when God asks us to do something. Noah said, I will. I will build an ark before it starts to rain. I will build an ark before it starts to rain. Following the Lord is a straight a narrow path, and Noah said, I will. I will follow the Lord and do all things in his name. I will follow the Lord and do all things in his name. Noah had so many things to do. He had to gather two of every kind of animal. He needed two pigs two giraffes, two kangaroos, two tigers. Noah said, I will. I'll prepare every needful thing. I'll prepare every needful thing. Noah said, I will. I will walk in righteous ways. I will walk in righteous ways. Noah was going to be ready. Noah said, I will. When the rain starts to fall on me, I'll be ready for that day. When the rain starts to fall on me, I'll be ready for that day. Sing the whole verse, you know it. A little bit faster we'll go. Okay. Noah was a prophet, a man who did not fear. When he taught repentance, the people would not hear. So the Lord told him to build a boat that could hold the tongue and stay afloat. Then
Now we are told to liken the scriptures unto ourselves. Can you be like Noah? Let's count how many times the song tells us that we can. Let's divide the room down the middle. This half, number one and number two, I can. I can be like Noah. Yes, I can be prepared. I can be like Noah. Yes, I can be prepared. Number three, I can this half. I can build my ark and I'll find safe shelter there. Wait, what? Sing that again. Sing that again. Well, now that can't be right. Each one of us can't build a boat. That would be way too many boats. <laughs> what can it be that we're building? When we have questions, the scriptures have answers. Now, what could it be? Like an ark, something that keeps us safe. <gasps> Here it is. Be faithful in a testimony of Jesus. We are building testimonies of the gospel of Jesus Christ that will keep us safe from the evils of the world. For Noah, storm clouds brought heavy rain. For us, storm clouds bring temptations. Sometimes even friends will try to get us to do something we know is not right. But if we have a testimony, we can choose to do what is right. And then we will be worthy to go to the temple and to be sealed together forever to those we love. With a testimony, we can be comforted when we're sad. We can find peace when we're troubled and we will know joy. Do you know how to build a testimony? Number four, this half of the room, I can. I can do the things I know are right. I can do the things I know are right. Number five, I can. I can learn and pray with all my might. I can learn And if you have a testimony, what ha happens next? <laughs> and then when storm clouds come, I'll be safe within my ark. Everyone. And then when storm clouds come, I'll be safe within my ark. The chorus for that second verse is the same, except for Noah was building an ark, and we, my ark. Noah was the prophet during his day. So we said, I will follow the Lord and do all things in his name. But today we have a living prophet on the earth, Thomas S. Munson. So we will sing, I will follow the prophet, for he speaks in God's name. I think you can do the whole song. Stand up <laughs> and sing it with power of a testimony that you know these words are true. Okay. Noah was a prophet, a man who did not fear. When he taught I 
was necessary to keep Noah safe. A testimony is necessary to keep us safe. So let's build our testimony stronger every day. And singing primary songs does just that. So keep singing. Thank you. You were wonderful. <clears throat> OK. <laughs> You've convinced me I want to be a music leader. <laughs> it is so fun. It is so fun. Thank you. Thank you. You taught us so much more than words. Thank you. You know, the principles that Sister Cecchio has taught us tonight apply to whatever calling and whatever personality. We just need to ponder the principles that we've been taught, and then we need to turn to the Lord, and He will help us find our way. Thank you so much. Okay, what happens next?